Consider that you have been using Apple for a long time, and you want to exchange your iPhone 8, which you once bought on a recommendation. Here are three smartphones to choose from that will go on sale in the next two months. One of them is iPhone 13. The others are Google Pixel 6 and Samsung Note 21. Let's say you choose an Apple smartphone. However, if we compare the technical characteristics, there are small differences between these three phones that are not noticeable in daily use. But why in such a situation is it most likely the iPhone 13? The reason for this is explained by the term brand loyalty in marketing. To put it simply, the term brand loyalty means that the buyer only buys that brand's products as the result of the positive feelings he has for that particular brand. For example, you can think of daily or monthly grocery shopping in your home. If you're satisfied with a product from a company, you'll buy that product without thinking about it. For example, your monthly shopping includes buying tea. If you're a first-time buyer, you'll need to consider several options. Let's say you choose TA from these options and you're satisfied with that product while using it. On the next shopping trip, you'll add a brand product to your cart without even thinking about it. It's clear that companies take certain steps to create brand loyalty in their potential buyers. But before we talk about these steps, let's look at the psychological reasons why people feel brand loyalty. One of the factors that increases brand loyalty is social identification. Social identification is a sense of belonging to any group that we humans have. This feeling causes us to have different values. For this reason, companies show in their advertisements that they share common values with you, instilling in you the feeling that you belong to their group. This type of relationship between the company and the buyer also increases trust and word-of-mouth advertising. In the meantime, let me say that word-of-mouth type of advertising means that people like the product and recommend it to others. Of course, brand loyalty can be explained from several additional psychological perspectives. But finally, we'll finish this topic by answering the question, how can you increase the feeling of brand loyalty in companies? It's clear that each of us has certain habits. Even when shopping, our habits can influence our choices. For example, imagine that instead of being picky, you have a habit of getting things done as quickly as possible. This habit may lead you to use a product that is worse than others, if not overall. Imagine you want to order food. Although the faraway restaurant offers better service, you order from the nearby restaurant so you don't have to wait too long. And because you do this consistently, the service provided by that restaurant is already elevated in your eyes compared to the other. This is called the continuous exposure effect in psychology. Now let's go back to the question I asked earlier. How can companies improve brand loyalty among their customers? One of the first answers that comes to mind when this question is asked is to have some advantages over your competitors. Before I talk about this, let me tell you that this may not always be among the reasons that lead to brand loyalty, because as I said before, our habits can prevent it. That is, instead of a better product or service, we can choose the one that is easier to get. But aside from that, Creating a difference between you and your competitors can give you an advantage. This difference may not be very big. For example, consider a hotel. In its slogan, it emphasizes that it offers the same standards at a cheaper price and is closer to you. Because of the price difference, the hotel emphasizes that it treats you as a friend, creating a bond between the customer and the company. As I said earlier about social identification, they make you feel you're in a group with them. This in itself increases the feeling of loyalty to the brand. Or, on the contrary, you can win the loyalty of a certain group of people by offering a more premium service. Another factor that increases this feeling is the good level of customer service. In our previous videos, we talked about how important customer service is. A number of steps can be taken to improve customer service. For example, Amazon has very good customer service as an online sales platform. One of the reasons their customer service is so good is that they analyze the products that customers buy and look for and bring similar products in front of them. You might be thinking, how does a site with millions of users do this? Of course, through CRM applications. CRM applications automatically perform the operations I mentioned earlier. If you want to get more information about CRM applications, you can enter our channel and click on the video we made about it.
The use of CRM applications is just one of the factors that indicates the level of customer service. In addition, you need to build a strong relationship with your buyers to build brand loyalty. For example, no one likes to call a company and wait in line for half an hour. Either it's necessary to strengthen the system, or as many world-famous companies are now doing, it's necessary to actively use the company's social media accounts and answer customers' questions from there. Another step you can take to improve your customer service is to have a section on your website where your customers can post complaints. Taking into account the important complaints written in this section and solving the problems will arouse positive feelings in your buyers. These positive feelings will increase their loyalty to the brand. Another step you can take to increase brand loyalty is to offer campaigns. It can also be a discount campaign. But you can use a different method instead. For example, the bonus cards we see in large markets are a campaign organized to increase customer loyalty. This campaign is logically similar to a pizza restaurant's offer of getting the 11th pizza for free for every 10 pizzas ordered. People get a chance to have any product for free with the bonuses they collect after a certain amount of shopping. This causes the customer to continuously shop at the same store or order from the same restaurant. Finally, the choice of the person advertising your brand, that is, the brand ambassador, is also important. The person you choose for your target audience can have a huge impact on building brand loyalty among your customers. For example, let's look at the company Clear. The famous football player, Cristiano Ronaldo, who is loved by millions, advertised that brand. Praising and advertising the company by people whom people love and trust greatly increases the buyer's faith in the brand. This naturally leads to an increase in sales and brand loyalty. In today's video, we talked about the term brand loyalty in marketing, the psychological reasons for it, and how you as a business owner can instill this feeling in your customer. But which company do you think is the best at instilling a sense of loyalty in its customers? Don't forget to share your thoughts in the comment section below. Thanks for watching.